Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, welcome to another episode. In today's episode, I wanted to go through my five tips to make your next trip to the thrift store a good one. So stick around, we've got five great tips. Let's get into it. Tip number one, guys, would be to be friendly with the staff in the thrift stores. And what I mean by that is just tell your story. Just say that you're an online reseller and you buy things to sell online for a profit. Anytime I've ever done it, they've been really intrigued and they've had a lot of questions for me. Uh, never any negativity, always positivity and um, just general like how the hell do you do it type thing. So I always tell them about this YouTube channel and they get very interested by that as well. But really what it's doing is it's building rapport and anything in business, if you build rapport and build relationships, you're going to get a better return than if you didn't otherwise. So if you just keep coming into this store, all your local stores and you never speak to anybody in the aisles that potentially work there, you're not going to have that relationship. You're not going to be able to build that rapport. But why would you even do that, you might ask, is, well, by, you never know the outcome. And, and for me personally, in, in my incident, instances where I've befriended the staff, is they've, they've basically looked after me a little bit. They've had a few items for me on the side when I've come in and I might be scanning the aisles. They'll tap me on the shoulder and they'll say, hey, Matt, I found these when they came in and I just kept them aside for you if you wanted them. And I found that, re I found that really generous of them and, and thanked them for it. Um, but that just came down to the fact that I built the relationship with them over the weeks and they knew my story. I'd, I'd been open and honest and they looked after me. They had some really cool items that I was able to buy and, and go on and sell for good profit. Um, so you can really benefit yourself in the thrift stores by just becoming friendly with the people that work there. Um, that can go a long way to hopefully getting you some really cool items that you can sell, but even not, just being a, just being a good person always helps. So Okay, so you build a relationship with the staff. Now it's a case of asking them some questions that are only gonna help you further. So tip number two would be to ask for manager specials. Manager specials pop up all the time and sometimes they're advertised and sometimes they're not. Ultimately, it's just an area of their goods that they've got too much of and they wanna clear out. It only happened to me today and it's pretty timely that I can speak to you about it. Um, I was in the store and I asked them, are there any specials going? And they said, there are jeans, three for $5. So I bought 12 pairs of jeans for 20 bucks. $1.60 for a pair of jeans and all the good brands. So that was only through me asking the question. There was no advertising for it. It was just simply me saying to the guy that I knew there, is there anything at a further discounted rate? And that's obviously where I was struck and, and bought all the jeans. So um, always ask and always ask to see if there's anything coming up as well. So if there's a special happening next week that you might not know about, asking the question, you can pop, up, pop in the following week and, and obviously take advantage then. So um, yeah, always ask the question or at least always scan around the room to see if there is any advertising for a special as well, because obviously that's always gonna put a few more dollars in your pocket if you're getting them at an even cheaper price. So then my third tip would be to go and ask them what day the delivery comes. So the trucks come in, they drop off all the goods. What day of the week is that? Every store is gonna be different and it's power to you if you know what every store has as their delivery date. So look, they might not drop the goods into the storefront that day, but they might deliver it out the back. And then they might tell you that the very next day after that is generally when it hits the floor. So if delivery day is on a Tuesday and it hits the floor on a Wednesday, I know that I'm probably planning to go into that thrift store at 12.30 on a Wednesday. Um, look, it might not be the case of being able to get in there straight away, but at least you're aware of the, the way it works, the way the store works each and every week um, to capitalize on the good stock at the right time of the week. You're just gonna stand a much better chance to find the best products and obviously make the most amount of money um, and by obviously getting in at the right time. So just ask, when do your delivery trucks come in? When does it get sorted out the back? And when does it hit the shelves? Because that's when I'm coming in. Tip number four, guys, is asking the staff if it's the best price they can do. So you found a pair of shoes, they're 10 bucks, you take it up to the counter. That is the moment where you need to say, hey, I've just found these shoes. Is this the best price you can do? They'll often look at it, have a check over, and they'll say, oh, look, all right, I'll do it at a cheaper price for you. And they'll knock a couple of dollars off. To me, that's the first couple of dollars that's in your pocket as profit. You wouldn't have got it otherwise, but by asking the question, you've now made a few extra dollars. So always ask the question. If you've got the relationship from the get-go, you're always gonna stand a better chance of actually getting that discount. So step number four, ask for a cheaper price. And the next tip for tip number five, guys, would be to basically purchase a different niche category item every single time you go into the op shop. So if you're into shoes, uh, men's shoes, men's clothing, like I am, and that's really all you go in and check out and, and, and try and find the bargains in, if you're just leaving after that, you're not really progressing and developing yourself. What you wanna be doing is jumping into a different category, going to the bric-a-brac or going to the kitchenware, doing a comp search in a different category that you wouldn't normally spend time in otherwise. If you buy that item and you sell it for a profit, you've just gained some information on what actually flips better. 
um, and you can expand your knowledge base so that when you're going into the op shop, after a few years of doing it, you've now got coverage over every single place and every single department or category or section in the op shop to gain profit. So don't just narrow yourself into one niche category that you know really well. Expand yourself. So go in and buy women's clothing. That's what I want to do. I want to buy women's clothing or women's shoes. Then I want to go to bric-a-brac and then I want to go to kitchenware or whatever the case is so that in a couple of months, I'm going to know everything in the op shop about what actually sells well for good profit and I can buy more items, make more profit and at the end of the day, that's what we're here for. So my last tip of the night would be to basically expand your niche categories and always go in and buy a new item from a different niche and see how you go. Hopefully those five tips help guys. Um, it's certainly something that I've started to do a bit more of and I've seen the benefits already. So I wanted to put a video together and get you that information that hopefully, you know, it's just something new and you haven't thought of before and you can put into play and see how it goes. And if you do end up doing it, obviously put it in the comments below on this video and let me know how you've gone with uh, just asking these simple questions because they open doors and they produce better returns for you. Um, I've seen it myself. So please remember to give this video a like and a subscribe. We're up to about 200 and uh, I think it's about 235 subscribers now. So after just a few short weeks, I'm really excited about how things are going and uh, it's all your support, tuning in and listening each and every video that uh, you know is making me, uh, I guess, a little bit more motivated to keep doing these videos. So. Um, thanks very much for watching and if you're here for the first time, thank you again. It's, uh, it's awesome to have you on board and uh, yeah, look, I, I look forward to getting a few more videos out this week. Uh, I'm going to do a day in the life on Thursday that's still going ahead. It seems to be your favorite videos of the week. So I'm going to keep doing those. And then Sunday, obviously, for the what sold, uh, I'll let you know how I've gone with my sales this week and uh, what cool items I guess I've been able to sell to give you a bit of context around what, uh, what sells well. So if you're into all that sort of stuff, remember to subscribe before I finish this video or uh, tune into the rest of my videos on this channel and uh, get engaged in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are on reselling and uh, also what videos you'd like to see me do in the future. But um, thanks very much for watching, guys. Look forward to catching you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>